bout between Kevin Popowick and Nicholas Oletz. They are fighting at 150 pounds. As you see, Kevin Popowick, our Can first fighter to tonight from Niagara <laughs> Top Team. And Dave, we don't know a lot about Niagara Top Team out here in Vancouver, British Columbia. But Niagara you know, Top Team, that gym is a beast back east. Yeah, it sounds like it. Those are the big players. We had seven fighters that actually go there and train. So they are legit, and they are here to put a stamp on the battlefield cage. And this kid is it's quite hilarious. I listened to a little bit of some podcasts I listened to, and out of all the questions we asked, you know, this kid's hilarious. He's like, I may not be the best striker, I may not be the best uh, the best striker, the best in jiu-jitsu, but I'm the best at suffering. Yeah, <laughs> we had that conversation with him. He's making his... Uh... A battlefield uh, oh, yeah, debut, uh, but the best at suffering. <laughs> you know what does that mean? Uh, to be honest, oh, I, I heard he speaks French. Yeah, I listened to yeah. his uh, French podcast, and I thought maybe it was the translation. Oh, but he said the exact same thing in French. <laughs> like, ah, that's well, he's actually down with the suffering. So I, I thought he maybe meant I, I, I can go to that dark place, and I like to be there. But I think uh, he just maybe just feels very confident in his, his ability to, to suffer more than others. So. Uh, Let's see how that goes. He feels like he doesn't know much about his opponent. What's interesting to think is that he thinks he's just a jiu-jitsu guy, but as we know, he's a lot more than that. So this will be interesting to see how it plays out because there's a lot more than meets the eye. Well, when, and when we talk to Popovic, one of the things he said is, that, listen, guys, I don't take easy fights. I take tough fights. That's what he does. He's fought some tough guys back east. Uh, now, having said that, his opponent, Nicholas Willette, now... He's a beast. Yeah, I mean, we've seen him with some <laughs> extremely, extremely impressive submissions. Like, he was uh, amateur champs in our rankings here. And we know from talking to him that he's actually been, you know, <laughs> doing karate since he was five years old and, like, in kickboxing most of his life. So we know him as a grappler, but now, like, the truth is that he's been a striker for, for over a decade. So he's not just a striking, just a jiu-jitsu guy. So it'll be extremely, extremely exciting to see him on, on, on the feet and this... Kevin really, really seems like he's young and he's just ready to just go in there and bang. So this should be this should be fireworks here, guys. Should be interesting. Uh, Nicholas Willette, uh in amateur, he's he's the uh, battlefield. He was a former lightweight champion. Uh, he, he was actually preparing for a fight before COVID hit, and then heard that there was just not going to be amateur during COVID, so that's why he decided to make the move to pro. Like I said, it's his third professional, or third rather, battlefield appearance, mm -hmm. first professional uh, appearance. So he is the lightweight champion, former lightweight champion, but uh, Nicholas will let that, this, this guy's dangerous everywhere, dude. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. I'm like, uh, he, look, look at his ear. You can tell, like, the, the ear, the ear <laughs> tells the tape. He's a BJJ black belt, and he's a young kid. He's extremely dangerous on the ground. We've already seen that. And he fights at his walk around weight, so he's not wasting too much energy and whatnot, cutting weight. Very, comp very confident in his skills and just ready to get in there. And that is interesting. That theme that we noticed a lot of the a lot of professional debuts tonight, as due to the COVID, it's very hard for people to find fights. So people are kind of being pushed, almost forced into making the professional professional debuts because you know these are the no. cards are cards are hard to find these days. So everyone's happy to be on the on the UFC Fight Pass. All right, BFL odds uh, brought to you by FightFresh.com, natural deodorizing products for athletes who are sweating. Is the favorite in this one, but hey, we're gonna fight it out in the cage. And uh, to introduce the fighters yeah, inside the cage, we go. Here he is. Ryan Ventura. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is a 150 pound catch weight belt scheduled for three five minute rounds. Introducing first the fighter in the blue corner. This man has a professional record of no wins, one loss. Making his PFL debut, representing Niagara Top Team in St. Catharines, Ontario, Kevin Popowick. And now introducing his opponent in the red corner. Making his professional debut, this is his third BFL appearance. He is a former BFL amateur lightweight champion. He was the top pound for pound amateur in Canada in 2019 to 2020. Representing Powell River BJJ and Powell River BC, Nicholas Wills! <laughs> 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 
All right, John Cooper is the referee, and these guys are ready to go. Kevin Popwick there <laughs> on your screen. He is in the black with right, the white and a little bit of red. And uh, Nicholas Willett also in black with white and blue trim. This is going to be a good one. Scheduled for three five-minute oh, rounds man. at 150 pounds, Dave. Don't blink for this one, man. Yeah, line is going to come and go to blazing or be interesting to see if uh, Nick decides to keep it on the feet here and highlight his strength or just try to take him down and highlight his jiu-jitsu. Oh, I think he's going to have the overhand. Oh, oh, a couple, couple of kick attempts there from Willette. Yeah. Mm. Spirits, but jiu-jitsu habits die hard here as he tries to go to get that takedown. Look good, what we saw so far. One hour and 43 minutes of cage and, time yeah. as an amateur. That's pretty good. That's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. That's a lot <laughs> of cage honest. time as an amateur. This guy is experienced. For somebody making yeah, his nice. debut. Oh, nice by Popovic. Very nice defense and just tosses him. I said, well, that's trying to go for that leg. He's got to be careful. But that was a great reverse. Oh, he's thinking about that reverse triangle, which is one of the moves we've seen before. And Willette's looking for that heel right now. He's going to have to be careful with that. That's very dangerous. Focus on the defense because Willette's going to snatch up that heel. He's got his arm trapped yeah. in there too, which is interesting. You can tell. An immediate spread on the ground here. Oh, that leg might be in danger. Kevin's thinking about going for that guillotine. That would be pretty interesting if he managed to get a submission on the submission eight. Now Willette on top here. A lot of action for a minute and a half. Kevin's even pretty calm in there. Doesn't seem mm. too phased. That's what's great about these young guys. They're just kind of a wild card. They're down for whatever, you know? See? Oh, he's thinking of going for an arm here. Interesting angle here as he progresses to side control with a little bit of shoulder it's pressure. Really. Trying to go to full mount, possibly. He's thinking about swinging that right knee over, but maybe he, maybe he doesn't want to. Maybe he likes it here. Maybe he's going to... Oh, interesting. What do we got here? Now Kevin going trying to... Thinking about our first trying to... From the bottom. Has his arm trapped. Not too much to do with Willette here. Thinking about... Oh, locking up. Fancy submission from the top. Ooh. Side control now. Willette looking to... It's knee on belly here for Willette. See if he tries to move to the full mount or if he just likes to be in that side control. Nice defense by Kevin here. Oh, he's thinking about... He's got the arm there. Thinking about going for that camera. Sweep goes for the sweep. Oh, he's got, possibly got the arm there. Nice defense by Kevin. Oh. Good choice by Willette to opt for some... Some nice oh. counter fists there yeah. from the top position. The arm is still in danger, but good job by Kevin recognizing the danger here. Great defense by Kevin here. Good job. Nick can't. He wants to get that arm. Trying to distract him with the shots, but great defense by Kevin as he turns. And then... Oh, oh. Nice spin, but now it's a guillotine attempt by Willette. Immediately transitions to that neck. Slick jiu-jitsu by Willette, as expected here. But great awareness of defense by Kevin here. Ooh. Oh, oh. A minute 45, now he's looking for the triangle. Oh, His corner was calling for it. This could be in tight. This could be in tight. This could be a problem now for Kevin Popowick. He's going to need that arm. He might get that arm here. A good defense by Kevin. Nick's going to want to either pull the head down or pull the arm across. Kind of a weird and you hear that corner of Nick Willett. Now he's going to look for the squeeze. Now he's looking for the corner. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes, sir. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Beautiful, beautiful display of jiu-jitsu transition. Locked up the triangle into. Oh wow. The Americana from the triangle position. Very, 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 very beautiful display. Coming down. Oh. Victory as Nick Wallace is crushing his winning streak emphatically. <laughs> And he just was moving transition to transition yes, you see on the replay. This is, this is the end of the fight here. See, he's got the triangle here, so his opponent is in danger, but he needs the arm across to finish and, the and triangle. Then, and then moved into that uh, off just to check the book Completely on different, yeah, from that safe. And then there is the Perfect. Right there. Wow. Very, very nice. That is slick. Ouch. It's For more of your fancy key back there, son, bolo. Great gamesmanship by uh, the young, the young one out there. 
Hopefully see you again in the Battlefield Cage. Well Facebook at. Fitness. Successful Memphis, Abbott Fitness, Powell River Jiu-Jitsu. <laughs> All fucking big. Powell River on the map. Right All there. right. There you go. Best in the world, Tonight's fight decision brought to you by Red One Casting, Canada's number one casting company. And for the official announcement, inside the cage we go. <laughs> Here he is, Ryan Ventura. Ladies and gentlemen, referee John Cooper is called for a stoppage at three minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. For your winner, by tap out due to front guillotine, the fighter in the red corner, yeah. Nicholas Will yeah. so Blair. Yeah. So they're calling it a front started. guillotine. No, that's that's a mistake. It was, uh, it was a Kimura. That was a it didn't look like that on the replay. Either way, it's a win for Nicholas Willette. Very impressive. Uh, ground performance there. That yeah. first round was just domination from him. Beautiful, yeah. Kimura from the bottom, they locked in a triangle and finished it with a Kimura, which is which is pretty pretty slick. That's the high level jujitsu. But as we know, East versus West.